Sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where we have a scanned worksheet that we'd love to use, but we can't find the original, and the scanned copy is the answer key. So how do you cleanly remove the answers from this scanned worksheet? Well, Adobe Acrobat offers a feature called Redaction that allows you to do this. Redaction is used many times when the government or a company has to release forms with sensitive information and they have to black out text or remove images. Adobe has provided an easy way for us to white out or redact those answers from our PDF. The first step is to open the scan document that you want to redact in Adobe Acrobat. So go ahead and do that. In the upper right hand corner of Acrobat, you have three options. There's the tools, comments, and share panels. You're going to need to click on tools. Now in the panel that appears, you need to click on protection. We first need to set our redaction properties, so click on that button. This is going to set the color that covers over the sensitive information. You'll probably want to change the redacted area fill color to white, assuming your paper's background is white. When you're finished, go ahead and click OK. So now it's time to redact. Each time you start to redact, you need to click on the Mark for Redaction button. A window will come up making sure that you know that redaction will not finalize until you hit Apply Redactions. If you understand and don't want this to show again in the future, you can click Don't Show Again. Okay, so now you're ready. Now you can redact both text and images, but they do show up a little differently on the page. I'm only going to cover redacting images since the text on most scan pages is only recognized as an image. So in order to cover over images, you have to hold the command key while dragging a rectangle over the content that you're going to cover. So let me show you how it's done. As you release, after drawing the rectangle, a red outline will appear around the text that will redact. It won't completely be redacted until we apply the redactions. To see what the redaction looks like, simply hover your cursor over the rectangles like this. Now if you miss a spot, you can always draw another rectangle around the little bit that you missed. And now I'm going to let you go ahead and finish redacting your worksheet. Now you're ready to finish it up. Click on the Apply Redactions button on the Tools panel to the right. A confirmation window will come up, and if you're ready, go ahead and click OK. Another window will come up confirming the redactions. It'll also ask if you want to remove hidden information that's connected with the file. Now this is not usually necessary in our profession unless you have a clandestine side job. So go ahead and click No. If you find that you missed some, you can always repeat the same steps as we did above. Just remember to click Mark for Redaction before you start drawing the rectangles. Now make sure to save your redacted copy. Go to File, Save As, and PDF. Now you'll notice that underscore redacted has been tacked on to the back of your file name. So you could actually just save it that way, but go ahead and change it if you need to. And you're done. Let a 21st century learning coach know if you have any questions at all.